Hi, my name is Brent Atwater, I'm the Animal Medium. That's right, I see and talk to pets on the other side. And today we're going to talk about angel animals, what they look like. When a pet crosses the death line, they shed their fursuit, cross the black electromagnetic death line, and instantaneously become a white, clear, steamy, sparkler form on the other side if they're a pet energy. If they're an angel energy, when they cross the death line, then they immediately turn into an angel with wings. Because a lot of pets come to earth to be guardian angels, spirit guides, and master teachers, and they take on an earth body to connect with you during a very difficult time and emotionally taxing time of your life. Now, when that spirit guide, master teacher, or guardian angel crosses the death line, and I watch this process all the time when I do readings, when it crosses the death line, then they whoosh, literally turn into a beautiful angel. And depending upon the color they are, it tells me under which of the archangels it's working. Isn't that cool? So you can tell by the color after they change into an angel, after they cross the death line, exactly who they're working for in the archangel hierarchy. Now, what bothers me is when you see these pet memorials, and these pet memorials have a dog sprouting wings out his rib cage. I know you think your pet's an angel, but if it were an angel, when it crossed the death line, and I see this, I watch it, it would look like an angel. So I have pets say to me, oh please, don't let her do in a memorial of me with angels sprouting out of my wing, out of my ribs. I don't look like that. And when I see memorials like that, I know the person that created it can't see pet spirits at all. So although you believe in your heart, and although you know in your heart that your pet is an angel to you, your pet doesn't love the fact that you're making wings grow out of his rib cage in pictures, nor hanging halos off his ears, nor floating him up in the clouds. Because the bottom line is, he looks just like he did when he was whole, healthy, and healed in midlife, except in a see-through version. And they're right there with you. And they're alive. And they're well the minute they go to the other side. Now, if they're an angel, then they take on the angel form the minute they go to the other side. So I really do want to clarify that because everybody says, Brent, you get all upset when you say, do you think I wouldn't have a fit if somebody did a picture of a friend with wings sprouting out of his ribs? No wouldn't have that. Or a halo hanging off his ear, or him hanging in the clouds, or him sitting with a rainbow behind you. Remember, when you get a rainbow sign from your dog, that's the second sign to let you know he's not at Rainbow Bridge. He's not dead. You don't have to die to join him. He's alive and well and with you. And oh, by the way, if you see him out of the corner of your eye, then eventually you can see him in front of you. And in my book, After Death Signs, we've taken great pains to create techniques that you will be able to do. Now, you might not be able to do all of them, so don't get upset. But you'll be able to do 90% of them. And then you'll see what I'm talking about if you see pets. They don't sprout wings from their ribs. They don't have halos over their heads. Even if you feel that they have an angelic, heavenly connection with you. Because if they're an angel, when they cross the death line, they'll show up in angel form and not pet spirit form. So thanks for listening today. I hope that clarifies these memorials that everybody's doing with Fluffy hanging up in the clouds, sprouting wings out of his ribs, and hanging halos over his ears. They don't look like that. They look beautiful just the way they were when you loved them and cherished them and held them near in your heart. And that's the way they look on their new journey with you as a pet spirit. Thanks for listening today. Hey, check us out on Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, and send your questions to www.brentoutwater.com. And if you'd like, join our group below. We have lots of questions, lots of global members. And yes, it's interesting because everybody over the world has pain from pet loss, and we have so many wonderful discussions and educational things that expand your awareness. And again, sorry I touched on a subject today that might be a little touchy with some of you, but let me tell you, I see pet spirits all the time. They don't have wings sprouting out of their ribcage. They look just like friend does now, alive and well, except just a little see-through. And on that, we're going to go take a walk. We hope you have a good day. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye-bye.